The Indian film industry has seen a platonic shift in the last couple of years. The shift is not solely in regards to the content but also in regards to the box office earnings, newer controversies and the rise of a strong alternative to the traditional theater experience for cinema OTT platforms. Hello and welcome. In this video we will try to decode the revenue model of the OTT platforms and understand how it would affect the nature of content. Meanwhile, make sure you subscribe to News Hamster if you haven't already and hit the bell button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video. The revenue pattern of the OTT platforms cannot be boiled down into a singular type as there are several ways these new age platforms use to make money. The most traditional of it is the advertisements. Although not used by all of these platforms, this method has an advertisement plugged in the middle of your show or movie. The non-premium package of several over-the-top platforms have used it as an efficient tool to get the potential customer hopped on on the subscription cycle. The most common method which is used by several over-the-top platform applications is the subscription video on-demand model, wherein the customer pays the subscription money to view the content of their choice. This model is adopted by the likes of Amazon Prime, Netflix and Sony Lim. There also exists the hybrid of the two methods wherein the platforms have two subscribers, free and paid. The difference being that the free subscribers will have to bear the advertisements and have lesser options to choose from as several of the shows are exclusive to the paid subscribers. This formula is used by Disney Plus Hotstar and Z5. A rather novel form of subscription is the one wherein the subscriber pays as per their needs. This includes the likes of Apple iTunes. This format is also known as pay-per-view format and all of you WWE fans out there would be well aware about this particular aspect. In 2020, when the traditional method of theatrical release was marred by a global pandemic, many movies released directly from the OTT platforms which followed the subscription model. However, one of the most successful movies of the year, financially, not critically, was Salman Khan's Radhe. The movie was one of the first Indian movies to use the pay-per-view formula. It was released on Z5 and it went on to become one of the most successful ventures of 2020. Amazon Prime India, one of the premium OTT platforms in the current ages, uses the subscription, hybrid and the pay-per-view model. The platform cashed in brilliantly by putting out KGF2, one of the most successful Indian movies of the years, in the pay-per-view format before making it available to all the subscribers. Thus making more cream out of it. Disney plus Hotstar is unarguably the top ranked OTT platform in India. Although the pull of Tata IPL and it being the official broadcaster to the home season of Indian cricket is a major reason for it as well. Disney plus Hotstar follows the hybrid model as it earns from its subscribers and advertisements. Netflix which offers plenty of international content solely makes money out of subscribers. The streaming platform does not rely on any sort of advertisements when the subscription is bought. On Netflix, people are charged for selecting a different number of screens and the quality of picture and for nothing else. With no lack of content across the globe, it will be interesting to see what more types of revenue models these new OTT platforms come up with. If you enjoyed the content of this video, make sure you hit the like button and share it with others.